Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create the ASCII art using PIL Python or pillow library of Python. So first of all, let me show you that what is the final output that you can expect from this video. So this is the regular image, the image for which you want that ASCII art and this is that ASCII art. Okay. So yeah, this is the output that we'll produce. So first of all, let's check the requirement. So you need Python to be installed. This is the first very important requirement. So if you don't have Python already installed, go to python.org, just type python.org uh, or simply type Python on your search engine. And the first uh, result is usually this website. Then you can go to this download and then just download the latest version of python actually i have already created a separate video for installing and everything of python i'll provide the link below for the basics okay so now you also need an external library to be installed which is pillow so for that what you need to do is just open the command prompt and write okay so your file is safe okay so uh, just write pip install uh, pillow okay then press enter and this package will be installed for you and for me this is already installed so let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing our code okay so now we are into our editor so the first thing that we'll do is obviously to import our required library which is pillow so from pil import image okay and then we also need sys because we want to access the files from our system. Okay. Then let's use our uh, sys library to extract the data from uh, our system so that we can get the data of that image basically. So uh, let's provide a path variable and sys dot argument variable and it should be these brackets and zero. Uh, now let's create an image variable so that we can uh, extract the data of our image so we'll simply write image dot open make sure that this i of this image is capital otherwise you will get an error and then simply write the name of that file in my case this is one dot jpg then what we need to do is we need to resize the image so first of all let's create two variables width and height uh, okay so this is not the spelling of height so uh, Again, this is not the variable. Okay, so let it be whatever is height. Okay, then we'll simply do image dot size, which will return two variables, uh, two data, which uh, the first is width, it will be stored in width, and the second is height, which will be stored in height. Okay, so we got the height and width of our uh, image now what we do uh, what we want to do is we need to get the aspect ratio so that the output image is also of the same aspect ratio so we'll simply do uh, <laughs> equal to height uh, height slash uh, width okay then we need to specify the new width what will be the new width of the image let's say it is uh, 150 okay so 150 units is the new width of the new image now what will be the new height now we already know that what is uh, the aspect ratio we already know that what is the new width so we can simply write uh, aspect ratio into the new width okay so this will return the height i guess i don't have to explain you this formula here then what we'll do is we'll create an image variable and in this image variable we'll store the uh, data of the new resized image okay so we'll simply do img dot uh, resize it should be resize actually i'm making so many mistakes because i am not having my table here i have just shifted to my new house and i'm just creating this video on my bed okay so so we'll write new width and then the integer of new height okay so we haven't actually converted this uh, height into integer form so this is why we are writing int here okay so we are resizing this image into into new height and width the image is the data extracted from 1.jpg here this img variable okay 
Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to convert this image into grayscale. So it will be very simple. We'll simply do img dot convert and these brackets and inside L. So it is converted into grayscale. Uh, now let's create a pixel variable, a pixel variable uh, which will store all the data from this img variable, this grayscale resized image. So uh, we'll do img dot get it should be get uh, data so we extracted the data from our original image uh, resized it according to our uh, needs the height and width that we want and then we have also converted that into grayscale and we have extracted and saved that data into this pixel variable so what we need to now do is we need to get uh, the characters that will actually replace uh, the pixels. So let me show you the image. So if we zoom into this, actually we cannot clearly see the pixels, but if we really zoom into this uh, image, we can actually see small squares. These are pixels. You must have heard uh, 16 megapixel, 32 megapixel. It defines the density of small squares that your camera can capture it's a very complex term but i can simply explain this as small squares that defines an image okay so this is what pixel is so we are replacing the pixels uh, with some characters here you can see this at the rate s plus dot dot and all these characters will be replacing the uh, pixels so Let's create a variable which will store the array that has all these characters. Okay, so let's say caret. Uh, let me complete this. Okay, so let's create this list. Okay, so these are the characters that will define our pixels. It will start from the highest pixel, the at the rate symbol will signify the brightest one and this dot will signify the lowest intensity okay so here you can see these are of lowest intensity uh, actually i said the wrong thing the darkest uh, color will be denoted by at the rate and the whitish one or the uh, pixel of the lowest intensity will be defined by this dot okay so I said that wrong. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll replace our pixels with these characters. First of all, let's create a variable called new pixel. You can create any variable of your choice. Uh, and then what we'll simply do is we'll write character and then we'll divide our pixels into 25. Okay, so we'll see the pixel intensity after every 25 pixel. Okay. Now, this is because we cannot replace each pixel. We are replacing pixels after every 25 uh, pixels. So here you can see that it isn't very detailed one. Here you can see if we zoom this to the maximum extent, you cannot see the pixels. But here you can actually see the characters, which means that all the pixels are not converted. We are selecting pixels after every 25 uh, interval, we can say. Okay. So let's do that. So we'll assign the character to the pixel after every 25 pixel and then we'll, uh, we'll create a for loop uh, for pixel in pixels. Okay, so actually this should be pixels. Okay, this should be pixels here. So for pixels in pixels, so pixel is the data that we have extracted from our converted image and then pixels is the variable which is extracting the data one by one and then what we are doing here is uh, we are dividing it by 25 and then assigning the character to it okay and then let's use the join command to uh, create that list okay okay so now we have replaced all the pixels with their uh, corresponding ASCII characters. Now, all the data or all the uh, ASCII characters are present in a single string. It's a very long single string. We need to align them according to height and width. I guess you got my point here. We have uh, 
only con we have extracted them in a form of a single long string or a long array and then we have assigned them characters we we haven't converted them back into height and width format so that we can create an image so now we'll be doing that uh, so let's create a new pixel uh, count variable so we'll create a new pixel count variable uh, and then we'll count the number of uh, uh, pixels so new pixel okay and then we'll create a final uh, image variable and let me first write the code then I'll explain you that what is happening here okay so what we are doing here is we are first of all creating this for loop for index in range 0 to new pixel count so uh, index is the variable that will be iterating through uh, 0 to whatever the pixel count of this uh, image is and then the duration or the interval of this for loop is the new width this is what is creating that uh, image form from our linear list or the single list that was created from this new pixel so and then we are assigning the specific character that was present there okay so i guess you caught my point here then what we'll do is we'll simply uh, okay so not here so we'll use the same variable final image and then we'll simply uh, use our join command but uh, this time with backslash n because we want this from a new line and then we will write join and we want this for final image okay now we got all our data in this final image variable now we need to create a new uh, text file and then store all this data onto that file so uh, what we'll do is we'll do with open and then uh, we'll do two dot text because I already have a one dot text uh, so we'll do the right method so this is why we'll write w here and then we'll write as f and then we'll write uh, f dot write and then whatever the data that we want to write which is the final image variable okay so I guess we are good to go let's save this and let's run our program and okay so we got an error which was pretty much expected from my program <laughs> okay so what is the error that we got so uh, cannot import the name image from PIL okay so this should be a capital I I forgot the capital I here okay so once again an error uh, where is the specific error index error list out of range okay so where that error is coming from okay so this is the error okay so i have to pause the video because i wasn't able to find the error in my program but actually the error was very simple i was just missing a simple percentage sign here so it was saying out of index because there wasn't much uh, characters in my character list to actually satisfy my image okay so uh, you have to write all these characters in your character list okay so now let's save this program you can see that this is the same program that we have written before there is no change as in and let me save this and let me run my program and let me go back to the folder and here you can see we have the 2.txt image which clearly shows our smiling king so let me zoom that out here you can see uh, no actually it's the joker so this is the club of joker i guess this is what it is called i haven't played that much of cards but i guess this is clubs or pan in hindi okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you how to create the ascii art uh, using pillow library of python in the next video we'll be seeing how to do uh, motion detection using opencv python so wait for that video and i'll meet you there bye bye